Howdy folks, thank you very much for tuning in. And today we're going to have a look at the Leavenhook or Leavenhook Skyline Travel 70 Telescope. Not only does it sound like the Celestron Travel Scope 70, it also looks like one, but there are some subtle differences that may swing the choice one way or the other for you. First of all, the price is pretty much identical. You get a very similar backpack to carry everything with you when you go out on your travels, as hinted in the title. And it comes with exactly the same very lightweight tripod that you get with the Celestron Travel Scope 70. A lot is still said about this tripod, how it's quite flimsy, but I say the clue is in the title it's a travel scope. If it came with a big heavy tripod that would be much more difficult to lug around in the backpack so it's it's lightweight for a reason it is a travel scope. So let's have a look at the subtle differences that, and there are some. The actual focal length itself and that part of the telescope is the same on both telescopes the Celestron and the Leavenhook. The finder scope is the same, I believe it's about a 5 times 24 The dew cover, the dew shield, sorry, on the leaven hook is slightly deeper actually than the Celestron which comes to about there and so if you are out on a dusty day you will get a bit more protection um, the main, main objective lens will get a bit more protection so moving round to the focuser again almost identical to the Celestron. It probably comes out the same factory and it has the same tightening adjustment on the top there. So moving back, this is where the leaven hook, leaven hook has the slightly better, uh, in my opinion, diagonal simply because on the inside of it we have a thread for filters and why would you need why would that be an advantage when you can already have filters on the eyepiece well for example if you're in a light polluted area you have your light pollution filter on you can leave it in the diagonal and so when you change the eyepieces you do not have to keep changing the filter so that's one tick in favour of the leaven hook as well as the, the dew shield but um, there is an advantage which the last one which I'll, I'll come on to shortly. The, the finish on the leaven hook is more of a matte compared to the Celestron's gloss finish and that, that's all down to personal taste whichever you think looks the best. Coming on to the eyepieces the travel scope has a couple of modified ac achromatic eyepieces of 10 and 20 millimeters that you get a standard with a, a lot of Low, lower end uh, starter Celestron telescopes. This one comes with again 10 and 20 millimeters. This is a 20 millimeter, but it's a, a basic Kellner with no rubber eye cup. But I'm actually quite surprised how clear the image is th through that 20 millimeter in particular. Then you also have a 10 millimeter, which the goes from 20 magnification up to 40 times. And the image does get a little bit softer there, but still, for the price, pretty good. But it, unlike the Celestron, the good thing is, it comes with a 3 times Barlow. On the box, it says that it this takes up to 140 magnification, but my, by my, my calculation, it's more 120 times magnification, if you use with the 10mm. What a shame they include a Barlow lens that doesn't work. The lens element is right down there and there's not enough inward travel to get focus. So it's, I'm afraid, unusable with or without the Barlow lens, that the three times Barlow you get with it. But when you buy from somebody like me, no problem, I, I, I will change the Barlow lens where the lens itself is down at the front there and it works perfectly so I, I will change myself the three times Barlow uh, when you purchase from us so so far you know 
it de depends on what what um, think you you think is an advantage and a disadvantage. But um, one plus side with a Celestron and a downside with this telescope is with a Celestron you have a T-thread there and you can screw your T-ring on and then that becomes a 400mm f5 telephoto lens. With the leading hook you need to buy an extra stepper ring because that is too narrow and it's the same stepper ring that you would get with the Celestron Regal Zoom eyepiece. So you just need another adapter ring if you want to put a T adapter, a T ring on there for astrophotography. So that, that's pretty much it. There very subtle differences between the Celestron Travel Scope and the Liebenhoek Skyline Travel 70. Very equal in price, very equal in performance. You, I would say the finish is slightly better with the Leven Hook. You, the eyepieces are probably slightly better with the Celestron, so you pay your money and you take your choice. But two very good telescopes for the price, for when you're out and about on your travels, starting out in astronomy, just general star sweeping, or, or looking at wildlife, whether you're out and about at nature reserves, or looking at birds in the back garden. So thank you very much for watching, as always, and please check out the links in the description below.